Sorry I haven't done any videos lately. Um, been pretty busy working 50 hours or so a week on my day job and then coming home and taking care of the property here and then there's still things to be fixed. This red lawnmower, uh, one of the guys that work with dropped it off uh, actually several weeks ago and I had issues finding parts but we got it done, it's ready to go and I got a couple of new or new caps on uh, refurbished wheels that are going on the trailer I got several tires off the truck because if you saw one of my videos recently I uh, took all my old tires and wheels off the, the truck and put, well at least the drives anyway, and put um, new caps and new wheels on and uh, here's two wheels that go back on the trailer they're gonna I'm sending them in to get refurbished because they're eight lug wheels it's hard to find these so we just gotta refurbish the old ones it's I got a real good deal it's like thirty five dollars a piece to sandblast them and paint them so can't beat that the truck is running over there it's um I just started up to fill up the air because uh, I still have an air leak in the lift valve for the tag axle and I've been waiting about two months to get that part and it's just with well, this corona thing is part of it and the other thing I'm just one individual I'm not a large company so I don't really get that good service when I need something I just gotta be thankful if I get it at all I guess so um, but I do have a seal kit that came in finally. I might be able to fix the old valve with that. So I'm going to park the trailer over here, be swapping some tires out and doing grease job and adjusting the brakes, things like that. I did have a little help for um, a few days. A couple guys came over and helped me with uh, cleaning the weeds out around the, the landscaping around the pond. We trimmed a lot of this tree here. It uh, needs some more trimming, but we got a lot of that out of the way. And we have weeds four feet tall, just like, just like they are around that bunch of trees right there. We had that everywhere pretty much, except this here where I can go with a lawnmower. I kept this down. So we got some stuff done here. And they picked all the weeds that were accumulating here in my corral where I stored the junk. Didn't do much of a garden this year, just a few little things. They're on their way. Um, not much, just a few tomatoes and peppers over here on this end. Got some cucumbers started over here. Got a flower. Uh, two flowers over there, so I guess they're starting to do something got the air conditioning I don't know if we had any video lately on on that but got the air conditioning installed over here at the trailer at the mobile home got a new back door put on now inside the mobile home we we got the uh, new plywood down on top of this old flooring I got through all these tricky spots in this little area here where the back door is that I just showed and uh, water heater closet I redid the plumbing and wiring in here because the original uh, floor plan had the water heater access area on the bedroom side and I didn't care for that so I'm going to put it on this side here so I had to rearrange the plumbing and stuff and uh, we're going to have the access on this side. We'll just box, box that in over here. That'll just be closed off. Just the wall. So, got the uh, plywood in up to this point here. And I've been trying to get over here to start working on this end. And not having much luck because I don't have time. Um, I got that one 2x4, seems to be the best one out of all my 2x4s that are here to use for a straight edge and I've been finding a little discrepancy 
from about where this floor changes color here apparently there was carpet from that line over that held water for a long time and did some floor damage when I peeled this this flooring material up it uh, they actually had a few pieces hidden underneath here because of some low spots well I did a little checking around with that straight edge and levels and stuff and I'm finding out that uh, I can fix some of this underneath the trailer just by uh, redoing the leveling between the uh, the runners and the frame where they shimmed it up and when they delivered it here and they really they don't their, their idea of quality work is not the same as mine so I'm going to redo that and uh, we'll probably fix a lot of this discrepancy in the leveling in here with that so that'll probably wind up the video here get um, get that trailer parked away across the street and start on those wheels so I am alive and well I'm healthy I hope all of you are uh, are healthy as well and um, just been awful busy that's all I do have a video coming up soon though um, I did record a welding job that I did in the shop it was for an antique car that had some as a part that goes on that had broken studs and and uh, I did this for a friend actually the mechanic at my job uh, he, he doesn't uh, feel that confident with welding something that touchy so I did it for him and he says it worked out real good so I got that on video so alright thanks for watching